of the Ash Grey playthrough. Now, a couple of things need to be clarified first. This was originally supposed to be hitting you around about, uh, this was supposed to be hitting you on Monday, but unfortunately, I screwed things up a little bit and released a couple of episodes a bit earlier than planned. But that don't matter, this one's going up for Saturday now. So we'll pick up, um, we'll pick up the TM, we'll pick up the Tasty Donut. And we'll step down here. Hang on, something's not right here. Oh, that's better. What's this then? It's a wild Pokemon. It's a monkey. Seems to be looking for some food. Give it a tasty donut? Yes, let's do that. He grabbed the tasty donut and began eating it. The Pokemon playfully snatched Ash's hat from his head. Would you like to try and catch it? Yeah. Pokemon is furious that you would try and catch it. It's chasing me. The Pokemon is crazed with rage. What? It's evolving. The evolved Pokemon is attacking in a rage. So, this is our next um, team member when we catch it. This is Primeape. Got a nickname sorted for him already. That nickname was chosen by Wayne. Let's try not to knock the fellow out of the way. I'm gonna catch him. He burnt him. That's good. He's actually still um, under the effects of rage at this point. We'll shoot him with another ember and then we'll start throwing balls, I think. Because we've got a slight problem in the fact that he's burnt, and with him being burnt, that will mean that <coughs> he's going to take damage every turn, so we're going to have to catch him quick to avoid... to avoid uh, losing him. So we'll throw the great ball that we found in the bin on the, on the boat. We'll throw that. Hopefully that ball will do that grey ball will do the job. Then I'm gonna take a short break after I've named this one to try and sort out some of this overlaying lag that we've got going on. So we've caught a prime ape and we're gonna nickname him. This is the nickname chosen by Wayne. Prime Ape's new name is this. <laughs> what shall we call him? No. Yeah. Oh. I think we can do it if we don't have a space. So we'll go back. Oh, it's a bit short, but it'll do. We'll go with that. That's Primeape's name. <laughs> Couldn't get the final letter of the name due to the length limit limitations that we're given, but I'll um, pop back in in a second, guys, when I've sorted out this overlaying lag issue. See you in a second. And I've returned, guys. We are. Uh, I hope I've sorted out the slight little spikes, at the slight little spikes of bastard lag, but uh, who knows? Uh, <laughs> Anyway, we are in. We we have moved forward. I better. I'll show. I'll go back and show you. Um, we caught. We caught Noel Edmund here. Uh, yeah, we made the deal of a century and caught Noel Edmund back here on Route Seven, and we have now advanced forward into Celadon City. Now, 
No Ledman won't obey me. I practiced with it. I, I tried him out in a couple of battles. So what we're going to have to do is stick the EXP share on and hope we can get him some leveling because he's got some big shit going on in a few in the next later on. So we're going to go to the gym. I'm sorry, but the gym isn't open right now. The gym leader Erica isn't in at the moment. I'm sure when she gets back, she'll be happy to accept your challenge. So she's not. So the gym leader isn't there. So let's go into the perfume shop because I'm pretty sure she works here. Oh, so this is where we get incense. Well, I don't want incense because it's crap. Um, let's just talk to the girls around here. Hello, I'm the store manager. Don't you think? Perfume is the most exquisite and elegant aroma in the world. Yeah, why not? Oh, so you do. You're not just saying that. What? You think perfume is a stinky ripoff? P for pretty, E for elegant, R for radiant, F for fun, U for urbans, and M for mysterious. E for energy, and that spells perfume. If you object to perfume so much, then maybe you should leave. Right, fuck you then. Let's go back to the gym. Seemingly we can't do anything. Oh, here we go. These these annoying idiots. Hey, pst, over here. Hey, kid, bet they wouldn't let you into that gym today. Even though you're a pest, we'll show you how to get into that gym. You just need a fashion makeover. Ready? One, two, three. Bing bong bang. Ta-da. Great wig. Not even your own mother would recognize you in this outfit. Talk about dressing for success. That get up will get you into the gym easy. Let's go. Good evening. We'd like to enroll our daughter Ashley in your training classes. That's wonderful. You like perfume? Then that's great. Then I'm sure you'll be accepted. Please come in. So let's do the gym battles now. Shouldn't have a problem. We have a certain thing called a Charmander. So grass types will kindly suck our balls. So let's do this. Bellsprout, level 23. Charmander, 23. Ember. Ashes remain. Bellsprout was burned, Bellsprout used acid, Charmander took pain, Bellsprout hurt my burn, Bellsprout hit with Ember, Bellsprout dead. Yeah. We're going to be getting a whole lot of shit like this, guys. And the lag doesn't seem too bad either. Shouldn't have said that, it's going to get worse now, but... We've got a load of grass types and Charmander is holding the lucky egg so Charmander will be taking some will be taking the majority of the experience in this one and that's what he needs because he's under leveled. He's under leveled like a bitch. So let's sort that out. He's under leveled because he's gonna evolve twice soon coming up, so we've defeated last K. Now we're gonna use our hatchet to cut down this tree. So the hatchet obviously replaces cut, and obviously this being the grass gym, Charmander is an absolute boss, and we'll and we'll deal with it all. So let's just get going. Oddish level 21, Charmander level 23. Okay, it's using its sweet scent and paralysation. That's the only thing that's going to do any damage because grass type moves ain't going to touch me. I might nip back to the Pokemart or the um, Celadon City Department Store and pick up some some Paralyzed Heals, but to be honest, I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. After all, only really grass types. Who's worried about grass types? I ain't. And of course, from all the battles, a little bit of the experience goes to our new party member, Noel Edmund. Noel Edmund, the primate. He won't be in a battle on his own for a while because, frankly, the bugger won't obey me. Bitch. But 
once we get once we get him to work, we'll uh, once again we get him to actually do some work, we'll uh, use him in the K1 Fighting Championship, which is coming up. And that's why we went up around level 30 because we've got to beat fighting type Pokémon: a Machop, a Machoke, a Machamp, a Hitmonlee, and a Hitmonchan. And if we're going to knock guys like that out, we're going to need him in decent nick. But that's not going to be for a couple of episodes. This episode's mostly going to be burning down the gym. And all of their many, many, many different versions of flowers that we're setting on fire with our fire lizard. I even one hit killed that fool. <laughs> See? This is not going to be a problem, I tell you that much. Noel Edmund up at level 21 wants to learn Focus Energy. But Noel Edmund can't learn more than four moves. Should I delete a move to make um, room for Focus Energy? I think we can say that that is no deal. Yeah, you're going to get that joke a lot. Stop learning, that's a deal. And you're going to get jokes like that when related, to, when related to that party member for some time. You're going to get bored of them, I'm sure. But we're going to go with jokes like that. <laughs> Charmander is evolving. Well, no. Just no. Because I kind of need you to obey me during, during this gym battle. And Charmeleon won't. So I'll keep you as Charmander as long as possible. Oh crap, Charmander died. Um I suppose we'll show we'll I'll show you guys what happens when I send Noel Edmund out. Noel Edmund won't obey. I'll try one more. He's loafing about. Okay, time to get him out of the battle because he's just gonna he's just gonna sit there and take an arse kicking, so we'll get him out of there. And we'll go with everyone's favourite electric rat. Pika, go. <laughs> we'll just end this battle with it, then we'll go back and heal up Charmander because this gym is made for Charmander, really. Electric attack won't do all that much damage, but Pikachu's level 30, so... That's why we're using him. Because he's ridiculously overpowered. And then we'll go and pick some stuff up at the gym, at the Pokemart while we're out there. Paralyzed heals, full restores, that sort of that sort of stuff. Twenty two bell sprouts. Let's go for quick let's go for shockwave. Okay, let's swap you out before you die. Let's go for Pidgeotto. Our, la our large pink head pigeon can take care of it. We do seem to be getting quite a quite a beating, but that is of course take a that is of course deal but dealable. Okay, so let's go and get some more bits and pieces now. That's odd, we seem to turn back into the Ash model when we come out of the gym. But, I'm sure we'll sort something out. We'll heal up everyone. And we'll go and pop, pop over to the Pokemart and collect some stuff. This one's going to be just a bit over half hour. Because... We, we had that little, that little lag, lag buried element of the episode prior to the uh, prior to sorting everything out. I mean the lag, st the lag is still present but it's something we're just going to have to deal with. So this is where we buy balls. What do we get from this, this fella? Super potions, hyper potions, max potions. We'll get a couple of revives because those will be relevant later on I'm sure. I'm gonna get I'll get ten revives. Fifteen grand. We've still got twenty-one thousand, so we'll pick up some 
We don't, they, don't, they don't seem to have full heals, so we'll have to just get paralyzed heals. Because we never get frozen, burnt. Antidotes might be necessary a bit later on, but for now, if we get 10 paralyzed heals, because grass types seem to have an overabundance of of moves that deal paralyzed paralyze damage, so we'll do that. And we'll head down. And out of the area for now. We'll have a good look around there later, but I don't we're not gonna need any of their services really, so we'll go back into the gym and missed it magically turn back into a girl. So we've beaten these two, there's one over there we can take on and one over there, so we're gonna do that because we might as well have as much experience as we can possibly get for our uh, our favourite lizard, so we'll take this one on first. It says no boys allowed, but I'm not, I'm a girl. Um, so she's sending out a Bulbasaur at level 24, we're sending out a Charmander at the same level. We have the type advantage. Oh, of all the, of all the things I prepared for, I didn't prepare for sleep. And that's the, first, that's the move it does. That's fantastic. Wake up, you stupid lizard. Wake up. Woke up, Ember. Bye, Val. Bye, Bulby. We've got one of those ourselves. But we don't need to level him up quite yet. Ivysaur, interesting. See if we can take that out relatively quickly. Ah, oh, poison powder. Again, something I wasn't really prepared for. I think we might have a berry that can deal with that though after the battle, so we'll look into that as soon as we've taken out this um, flower-headed dinosaur. So we'll look into what we'll look into fixing that that status element with a berry as soon as we stop Charmander from evolving because he's not ready, we don't want him to evolve yet let's go into berry pouch so that's a wake up berry that's a poison berry, so we'll use the poison berry. Oh, Charmander. That's poison dealt with. Okay, we'll take on one of Erica's side maidens, then we'll step back a bit and go and take the other one over there. Should have probably healed Charmander a little bit. But I'm confident I can do this, so got revived anyway. And that's execute exec execute down. We'll pull back a bit, go down this way, open the No, we're not gonna open that quite yet, we're gonna put we're gonna put potion on Charmander first. We'll use a. Uh... We're gonna give that to Pikachu, the light ball first, just in case he he ends up coming into the battle. And we'll use Super Potion on Charmander. He's already bumped up two levels, and we've only been here five minutes. Well, thirteen and a half minutes. And the next battle. We've got two more battles to do in here after this one, and I think we'll do it all in one session, and we'll we'll be out of here before long. She's got quite a few Bell Sprouts and Bell Sprout Evolution by the looks of things, so we'll just stick with we'll stick with what's worked before, and we'll stick with Ember. Let's use Stun Spore so we can cure that up, but I think we can just beat it. She's using a Super Potion. We put it back down.
the likelihood of being hit by it I mean this gym is completely made for Charmander so it doesn't matter we'll make sure that we uh, take care of this one as quickly as possible and of course Noel Edmund is getting some of the experience while we go and that's pretty much it really we'll just sort of go at it and go at it and we'll win so Charmander's completely prepped and ready for this one I'll take care of this one and then we'll take a break grass types and a fire type I have the advantage here okay so poison's not great because I've just used my last poison berry but I'm going to do this one in chunks, I think. I'll cut out nipping back to the po Pokemon Center to get rid of the poison status after this battle. So we'll just take out this Weeping Bell and I presume a Victory Bell. Can't say for a fact yet, but I'm assuming there's a Victory Bell coming up. Hopefully the poison doesn't kill Charmander. Because this battle is just made piss easy with uh, a fire type. Especially if you haven't evolved your Charmander, because if you've evolved your Charmander, you've got a 50% chance of it actually doing some damage. I wonder, will it be a Victory Bell or a Vile Plume? Next, there's one more coming. But this one's got quite a few, so this one's obviously like a sort of sub boss in the gym. But that's no problem because it's down. Charmander's leveled again. An Ivysaur. We're going to need some health if he doesn't die from poison. One HP, that is fantastic. So we'll throw a super potion on Charmander and then I'll um, cut out going to, the, going to the gym and I'll be back. Let's take this one out first. An Ivysaur is quite powerful, but it is four levels less lower than me. It might have a uh, powerful damage and powerful stats and stuff, but. Nothing beats a good type advantage. I know, I know. There's all that stuff written in about you know a, a trained Pokemon with uh, superior stats and stuff, but still, type advantages still do the job for me and always have done. So that's Ivysaur down anyway, and we'll pop back in the next. Step. We'll pop back after I've nipped to the gym, nipped, to, nipped out of the gym to the Pokemon Center. We'll stop Charmander evolving once again because we kind of need him to obey us for the time being. So we'll stop that and I will return when I've been to the Pokemon Center. See you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, yeah, took a slightly longer ad break than was initially planned. But that happens and let's move on with things. We are ready to return to the gym. And this time, we're going to clean the place out. Charmander level 26, getting one hell of a boost, and Noel Edmund, collecting experience in the background. His time will come very soon, and if I'm honest with you guys, I, um, I'm predicting another Rage episode coming up. Because I've seen video footage of the uh, scenes coming up with Noel Edmund, and needless to say the banker gets on my nerves quite a bit so let's get going shall we and we'll take on the last member of Erica's gym security before we get to take on the lady herself Miss Erica now last Lisa is sending out a Oddish and we're going with our standard Charmander approach standard Charmander approach with Ember Okay, so we've been put to sleep. That is annoying, but as I noted earlier, guys, we do have a berry that will sort that out. So we will use the this. We'll use this Chester berry. Charmander can awaken. Take acid. Don't get poisoned, for God's sake. Good, good guy. And we use Ember, and that's the Oddish down. Now onto the next member of her team. 
She has got... Noel Edmund has levelled up once again. Last Lisa is sending out Gloom. Gloom is something we're going to see a lot of, because Eric has got one. Because obviously this has run off the anime. I hope you guys are enjoying my uh, attempts at running the anime. Uh, apologies for the video being a bit a bit cut and splicey, but I'm going to try and do something with an edit to sort that out. So you shouldn't know the difference, and... Okay, Charmander is poisoned. That is annoying. I'll keep the um, Pokemon trip center trip in. So there we go, Noel Edmund taking some more experience. Shouldn't have a problem with Erica, let's nip down to the center again. Apologies for that, guys. <laughs> Got a bit of hiccups after me after drinking my coffee too quick. Earlier. Beep, beep, beep. Hope you guys are enjoying the fact that I've found a way to speed up the emulation of the game, so things get done a bit quicker. And I'm fully aware of the fact that in like the first one hour episode, episode one, I didn't get all that much done. <laughs> so I'm trying to um. Oh, okay, that was a mistake. I'm trying to as best as I can. I keep slipping pressing the wrong button. Um, I'm trying to as best as I can to get as much done. So here's Erica. Hey, wait a minute! You're not a little girl at all! That's a week! You're that boy who hates perfume, huh? You want to challenge me? Very well, I accept your challenge. It's my duty under the league rules. I'm Erica, leader of the Zalabon Gym. My voice is fucking terrible. I won't lose because I have something you don't. Empathy with your Pokemon. Without it, you'll never become a great trainer like me. Now I'm going to give you a lesson. And I'm going to give you an ass kicking. So she's going for Tangler. A creature made of vines. Ember. Okay, Mega Drain's going to do some damage. But. Ember set you on fire. Okay, her guys are a hell of a lot stronger than I thought they were. <laughs> She's talking mid-30s. Crap. Um, I think we can do it, though. Okay, stun spore. Yep, we can, we can do this, guys. I know we can. That's going to gonna be a shit ton of experience for our charm. And 852! That's up to level 27, enormous all the way up as well. She's sending out a weeping bell. Come on, no paralysis, no, paral no paralysis, come on. Oh, sh okay, um, gotta be careful here, guys. Uh, we'll go with... Bunga Super Potion on him first. Acid ain't gonna be a major problem, she's gonna do damage at this point. Because we can't get poisoned while we're paralysed, so I might keep the paralysis on for that purpose. Ultimately, we did just die, but that's all right. I'll uh, I'll send out Pidgeotto, who's a bit closer to him in level, and can do some damage. Go for wing attack. Noel Edmund will still get experience, so that's good. She's got Gloom. So I'm going to go with Bag, and I'm going to re revive Charmander. Because this gym is for Charmander, you know? He needs this gym. So, he really does need the levelling up that we can get here. And I'll find something I can do for Squirtle at a later date. But... For the time being, we'll hit her with a wing attack. Bring her down. One more, I think. And that does it. So Charmander's still alive, but didn't get all the training, but it doesn't matter. Because the next thing is the uh, stuff for Noel Edmund, anyway. I don't think he's completely ready yet, so I'm going to go and, um, but I have found a way to get him to be obey me, so I'm going to try that first, alright? 
Charmander wants to evolve, but I'm not letting him. So there's been an explosion. Thrilling! But what's that smell? Your Pokemon skills are stinking up this gym even worse than gloom. Thanks for helping us sneak into the gym so we could steal this secret perfume formula. No! And now Team Rocket's going to be out with a bang. The blast ball's detonated. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Quick! Everyone get out! The whole gym is on it! It's an inferno! So they all leave me behind. Now if you guys can see in the corner, Gloom is there, but obviously for storyline purposes, we'll escape first. We'll escape first, right? Just so you guys can see the storyline. The strange cry of a Pokemon wails from inside the gym. You can't just abandon it. So we'll go up here. Around the flames that are conveniently placed. It's Erica's Gloom! It looks terribly frightened, yet it's not reducing an intense odour. It must trust you. Would you like to bring it with you? Yes. That's what I'd like to do, yeah. So let's do that, guys. And let's run along here with it. And we'll go down here, through the middle, and out. And Erica's waiting outside for us. Oh, you saved my Gloom! Thank you, Ash! With deep gratitude, I present you with the Rainbow Badge. Ash received the Rainbow Badge from Erica. I think you earned it, don't you? The Rainbow Badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey you. Please also take this with you. That's Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is it's great to heal your Pokemon, wouldn't you? Agree that it's wonderful move? And I know exactly who's getting it. I know exactly where we're going to put it as soon as I find it. Where's the TM case going? This is in here somewhere. There it is. No, it isn't. There it is. TM case. We've got Giga Drain. Might as well teach that to my only grass Pokemon. That's going to make him a monster. Uh, well, we got sleep powder, we got leech seed. So, leech seed's awesome. So, I'm going to put it on instead of sleep powder. The idea is, I could do both. Yeah, that's the idea anyway. Do both. So, use the, the capabilities of a leech seed right at the start of the battle. And then do the second one, then do Giga Drain all the way through. And so, basically, Bulbasaur can go from having pretty much no health whatsoever to having all the health in the world and more. So we'll head back to the Pokemon Center here and that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, my name is Tom and this is Let's Play Pokemon Ash Grey. Thank you guys for being here and I will see you in the next episode where we are going to head forward out of Celadon City and we're going to head forward and see what's coming next. There might be some stuff with Noel Edmund, I'm not entirely sure yet, but we're going to have a look around this city next and see what's coming up. But this is the end of the episode and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.